Greetings fellow civil engineer. Today we're going to discuss how to pass the civil FE exam. Start with the basics. What is the fundamentals of engineering exam? The FE exam is a comprehensive exam that covers all the topics you touch on as a civil engineering undergraduate. It has 110 questions. It takes about six hours long and it's a necessary step if you want an entry-level job. Most uh, employers will insist that you have passed the FE exam, so you're an engineer in training. And that's kind of what the exam is for. It, it shows employers that you didn't cheat your way through your undergraduate career. It shows that you have at least have some basic knowledge of the principles of engineering. And passing the FE exam is your first step towards earning your PE license. That is the most important step of your engineering career. Once you have your PE license, then you can legally stamp engineer drawings, and it's a lot easier to get a good paying job. So how do you sign up for the FE? You go to this website here, and you create an NCES account. NCES is the organization that writes and grades the FE exam and the PE exam. And you take it in one of these, a testing center. And it's an officially proctored testing center, and you're monitored, and you're sitting there on a computer, and you have to do all those tests on a proctored exam situation like that. There's a bunch in every major city. You can look it up on the NCES website. Is the test hard? OK. The short answer is no, it's not that hard. It's, I like to say it's a mile wide and an inch deep. That is to say it covers a wide array of topics, but the questions themselves are not that difficult. If you know your stuff, you'll do well. The, the P exam is a lot tougher. It's a lot trickier. They're trying to trick you. The FE exam, not so much. It's designed so that if you do understand the principles that they're asking you about, then you should get a pass. So how do we know what subjects to study? I'll let you guys in on a little secret. NCES tells you what to expect on the exam. If you look for this document right here on the uh, website, you can get a comprehensive list of all the topics that are addressed on the FE exam. So you can treat this document, the exam specifications, like a checklist of sorts when you're doing your studying. And so how do we know what they can use to study. The references you can use are first the Civil Engineering Reference Manual by Lindbergh. This is also a manual you will use for the PE exam and it covers pretty much all the important topics of a civil engineer undergraduate career. It's almost like having a bachelor's degree in civil engineering in a book. It's, uh, it's that awesome and comprehensive so you'll definitely want to score yourself a copy of that or find an electronic one online when you're doing your studying. And the other thing you'll need is the reference handbook. So when you take the actual exam, they're going to give you this booklet. And it's uh, you'll have it open in a separate window when you take it on computers. So you'll be doing a lot of control effing to find the information about the topics you're being asked about. At least half the questions on the exam can be answered just using that reference handbook. That's not to say you can go in there without studying and just rely on the handbook to get all the answers. You have to know what it all means, but the handbook definitely helps. So memorizing what information is on the handbook is probably one of the best ways to study for the exam, because that way you know when you get to a question, you'd be like, oh, yep, I know where to find that information on the handbook and just search for it. If, uh, if you have any questions or comments about the exam and want to know more about the FE or test taking strategies, feel free to drop me a line at that email. I'm always down for answering questions. That is all for now. Take care.